What are you doing there? Just checking off the old bucket list saying that I ice skated on a cruise ship. That's right. <laughs> Just gonna skate. Luke doesn't want to break a wrist. Another one of the perks of the key is private time at some of the activities on board the ship. Rock climbing wall, flow rider, and ice skating are some of the ones that you can do. If you haven't caught our embarkation day video, there's a lot of other perks that come with the key that apply at uh, embarkation and disembarkation day as well. So if you haven't checked that out, I'll link that down in the description box below. Some of the other perks of getting the key is um, internet for one device per person who has who's paid for the key and having VIP seating at the shows, which we'll show you when we go to the ice skating show a little bit later on. So stay tuned. I think I'm done. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> so it's Valentine's Day and we're in the main dining room for formal night. Very begrudgingly, for he's still wearing a hat. Still wearing this a hat in the main dining idea. room. Wearing a hat in the main dining room. Angry comments, please. There they go. Okay, so it's Valentine's Day. We're in the main dining room. We're gonna take a look at the French night menu, decide what we're gonna get, and then after this, we're gonna go to the ice skating show. Woohoo! So stay tuned. Also, if you wanna see our main, our dinner and a show video that we did on Symphony of the Seas last year, I'll put a link down in the description box for that one too. All right, the bread is here, so we're gonna dig into that. No calamari, no snails for us tonight. Sorry, folks. This is my squash and coconut soup. Really intrigued to try that. Looks like there's some pumpkin seeds on it. And then Luke got the Caesar salad, which looks really good. Huge shavings of Parmesan cheese on there. Yum. was potatoes instead of rice, but that's okay. I'm sure it'll still be good. You guys, there is bacon, and it is so good. This bacon is actually crispy. It's not soggy. It's delicious beef bergognon. Dude, these look like super fresh cookies. Okay, we all want to know, Luke, try it. Is it better than the ones in the Windjammer and Cafe Promenade? Is it better? <laughs> you don't like it? It's just as good. Kind of tasteless. Oh, that's disappointing. Here's my chocolate cake. I don't really like the texture. Well, why don't you try this cake? Alright, so finish up dinner. I feel like French night was the best night in the main dining room. We'll see if that stays true for the rest of the week. But the one thing that wasn't good was the Luke's chocolate, chocolate chip, chip cookies. cookies. Yeah, something was totally wrong with that. I don't know what happened. It's kind of sad. Okay, so we just finished dinner and it was the French night because it is Valentine's Day 
uh, and it's a sea day. And I thought the food was excellent. The beef bourguignon and the beef tenderloin were both really, really yeah, good. Yeah, really good. Even my butternut squash soup was super, super good. Even though the portions are definitely smaller, yes. but for me, that was probably the perfect amount of food. Right, and you can always ask for more. If yeah. you want another one, they'll bring you another one. But it was super fast. We got in before six o'clock. Our dining time was six. We got in at like maybe 5.45 yeah. even. And we're done, and what time is it now? And we were done probably less than, well, maybe close to 10 minutes ago. So it was like under, it was about 40 minutes tops. So less than an hour to get through Valentine's Day dinner in the main dining room. Yeah. Again, we came really early, 5.45. Dinner was at 6. We got in early and we're done now. And the only thing that wasn't good. Which was really surprising to me. Because this is a really easy thing to get right is... My chocolate chip cookies were terrible. Yeah, they were weird. I don't know what went wrong there, but they weren't the normal chocolate chip cookies and they weren't nearly as good. So I don't know what was up with that. But we're catching the sunset here a little bit. And then we're gonna go to the ice skating show. We're on deck four, which we really love because hardly anyone ever comes here. And it's the only deck that's open the entire perimeter of the ship um, with no walls or blocks where you have to go in to go out again or go up or go down. It's open all the way. And um, yeah, it's the best part of the ship. <laughs> There's hardly anyone here. Part of it is smoking. Um, so you have to take that into consideration as well. But yeah. People just kept showing up. Come on, green flash. Oh, it's almost gone. Oh my god. Shout out to Michael K. That's <laughs> my shout out to Michael K. Come on, baby, be green. This is new channel. Journeying together or something? Green, 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 green. Oh, I saw it! I saw it. I don't know if the camera can see it, but I saw it. Yeah. We saw it. We saw it. <laughs> okay, we are heading into Studio B, the ice skating rink. The amazing ice cast of our brilliant ice Odyssey. Thank you so much, guys. Thank you so much. Muchas gracias. They are going to regroup themselves to have the 9 p.m. show, and then we continue. And as the set say, the show must go on. Wow, that was a big crowd in the uh, Studio B as we were all leaving because one of the skaters got hurt so they couldn't continue with the show. They say they're going to have it again at 9, so we'll try coming back at 9 and see what they come up with for how they're going to fix this. 
uh, I don't know. The girl's hurt, like she can't skate, so maybe they're just gonna scratch her choreography or something. I don't know. Maybe they have understudy or something. Yeah, maybe the understudy will go out. So we'll see. We'll check back with you then and see if the show uh, comes back. So this is the card room in the library. They even have a book drop off. <laughs> we have seen lots of folks playing cards in here. Luke's checking out the ship model. Let's see. Oh, there's also computer, computer stations back here if you need to uh, connect to the internet and you didn't buy the internet package. I think you can rent internet time at these computers. And here's what are the ship looked like prior to the retrofit. So we came back since our ice skating show got cut a little short from one of the skaters, I guess, getting hurt. We came back to our room and we found oh, a little heart for Valentine's Day. <laughs> How cute. So there's also movies on the pool deck. This is also where you could watch the Super Bowl on Sunday. How's that hot tub? Cool, let's get in it. Both of these hot tubs are empty right now. They're open until 11 p.m., which is awesome. Everybody is okay and not hurt. No more injuries. And so we're heading into Studio B. This place is packed. I think it's because the show got canceled earlier in the week from that ice skating injury. But this place is full fizzle. The injury and having to catch the rest of the ice skating show a, a day later on in the cruise, I still thought the performers did an excellent job. And if you would like to see more ice skating sho shows at sea, make sure to check out our dinner and a show video um, from when we went on Symphony of the Seas and caught that ice skating show in that Studio B. I will include that link as well down in the description box below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.